Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the HB Health Hub here with me, Coach HB. Hope you are well and today we're going to be talking about the step up. Step up is a great exercise, one of my favorite exercises for working the glutes in their length and range. Um, step ups is something I see regularly in gyms, in classes, and people do them mainly uh, for cardio based, I think, especially in classes. So what they tend to do is have a step up like this and do a lot of this, okay? Absolutely no problem if your goal is to just get up and down, get some cardio movement, get and hit, use it as, as, a, as, a, as a form of increasing your heart rate. Now, if you're gonna use the step up to do this exercise, focusing on increasing um, the glute muscle, uh, what we wanna do is we wanna do it correctly, we wanna do it safely, because this can be a great exercise if you do it in the great, uh, in, in, in a really good uh, a manner. Uh, so, um, it is a tough one, to be honest with you, to control it, but if you can control it, it can be a great exercise. So, first things first, whenever you're thinking about doing a step up, you need to think about the height of the box uh, that you're using, because it all comes down to your capabilities of getting up on that box properly okay so what do I mean by that so if I'm putting it to the side here what I want to think about first is when I bring my leg up I want to make sure that my hips my lower back my abs are neutral at no point do I want to get so high where I'm tucking in and at no point do I want to get to a point where I'm leaning and rounding okay to be able to get up there I always wanna make sure that none of this is compromised in any way, shape or form. So first of all, let's check the height of this box for me. Am I able to reach that box nice and high without anything breaking? Yeah, I can massively do that. So for me, that box is a little bit too low because it's getting, you see my hip is not there. It's kind of below where it needs to be. So I'm not gonna be challenging myself that much if the box is so low. I wanna increase that. So I've got a seven inch box here that I can put underneath that. So what I would do for me is find a box. I mean, you can get boxes that are a bit higher. Sometimes they can be a bit too high. If they're too high, you're most likely going to round as you get to the top. So you need to find a box that's going to be perfect for your uh, capabilities of doing the exercise. Now, if I look at this now, again, I don't want to make sure I'm not arching my lower back. I'm not rounding. I'm not tucking my bottom in. So I'm going to come up. And that to me, I, I'm, that's perfect. I mean, I, I've got another foot there maybe that I can go a bit higher, but that for me is, is actually a nice 90 degree angle. I can start the work from here and actually get some really good work done on my, on my uh, glute. Now you can see here, if this was a bit uh, too much for me, I would potentially round my back or potentially I would arch my lower back, which I don't want and tuck my pelvis in. I don't want my pelvis to be tucked in in any way shape or my bum to tuck in. I don't want that to happen. I want to keep everything nice and stable here. All right. Now, the next thing I want you to think about here is keeping a sh my shin vertical. Okay. I don't really want to be driving my knee forward. If I drive my knee forward, I'm going to be putting more emphasis on my quad. I really don't want to be doing that because my goal here is to work my glute, the glute max in the length and range. So key thing, keep your knee behind your toe, right? From there, once you've got a nice vertical uh, shin down, you want to make sure that you are going to lean forward at the hip. Once you lean forward at the hip, it's really important here that you keep a neutral spine. Think of your, this is your head, this is your back, always neutral. Although you're leaning forward at the hip, you're not rounding, okay? And you're not arching. There's no need to arch to drive that hip back. Keep a neutral spine. So abs semi-engaged, leaning forward slightly, keeping your shin vertical. From this position here now, you should feel a nice little stretch on that glute. From here now, what you wanna do is you wanna think about driving your hips forward that way, okay? So, as you drive your hips forward that way, your glutes are doing all the work, you're gonna pause there. No point you need to do any of this at the top, neutral, neutral at the top, okay? I know you, hi. You don't, can't see my face from here, but that's all good, you know where I am. So from here, what I wanna now do is I want to think about driving my hips back, exactly the same thing. Keeping my, my shin nice and, and, and vertical, driving my hips back the same way as I did as I was coming up, control the movement down, nice and slow on the way down, and slow uh, um, landing. 
What I don't want to do is when I'm at the top is come back and just let it drop, okay? So I don't want to just come back and do this. Right? That's not what we're doing. That's very, very easy then, right? We're not, tr we, and we're getting a lot of other things involved. We want to make sure that just the glutes doing what it needs to be done. So when you're coming back, you want to really slow down that eccentric so that you're getting really the most out of that glute. So again, tempo is key. What I mean by that is, is how long it takes you to get up there and how long it takes you to come down. Always think about pausing at both ranges. So what I will do here is a three to four second um, eccentric and a two second concentric. So by that, what I mean is, as I go up, will be one, two, pause, one, two, three, four, pause. One, two, pause, one, two, three, and four, and pause. The other thing I don't want to be doing here is bouncing off that back leg. That back foot, like right now, if I was to just use this back foot to propel me, I can just do that, right? And immediately, that's, that hasn't done any work whatsoever. That back foot is the one propelling me up just to jump. So I'm almost doing that. So a lot of people cheat, especially as you're starting to have load. They'll cheat with that back leg the first uh, uh, quarter of the movement by doing that, okay? So all the movement's coming through here. And that's doing absolutely nothing. You don't want to be doing that. You almost want nothing, no load on that back leg at all as you come up. You want to make sure you almost try and lift that foot off the ground, the back foot, by just driving from here, slow as you go up, keeping that shin as, as vertical as you possibly can. So control the tempo. We don't want to do any bouncing, okay? So when if I'm here again, think about what I'm doing, leaning forward, I'm semi-engaged, up, Control the negative down. I do not want to bounce off the bottom. No bouncing off the bottom, okay? When you add load, things can become a little bit more unstable. You have gotta be very careful that you don't add too much load. Build yourself up slowly. Always keep a neutral uh, hip, hip as well. At no point do you wanna be shifting in any way, shape or form, or that way. Always, everything should be neutral. Hopefully guys, that's giving you understanding of how you can do th this exercise to really emphasize the work of that glute in, in its length and range. It's a great exercise, honestly, one of my favorites when I'm working uh, glutes and hamstrings. I incorporate this on a regular basis. Um, give it a go, let me know your thoughts if you like. Uh, please like, share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on our next exercise.